which has been uh, more focused throughout uh, as my fights go on. You know, I, I look back at all the film, watch all my mistakes, and I try to see improvement from my my previous fight to to now, and just correct all the errors. Go back, you know, go back to gym and, and practice it. You know, I don't necessarily need uh, the knockout to win. You know, we come prepared to go the distance, and if the knockout comes, that's always a, an extra. And never did I think that uh, you know, such a such a young age at 20, I would headline my first event. You know, sell it out. So you know, it was a little nerve-wracking, but uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's that's the last thing that matters. You just just so focused on what you want to do. If everything goes well, depends how I, you know I feel. Eight rounds, uh, maybe throw in uh, my last round of uh, my my last fight of 20, uh, 2016, a 10 round. Then. We're uh, we're prepared to fight the distance. Uh, if the knockout comes, like I said, it's more than welcome. But we will be ready to fight, and we know that he's gonna test my will because uh, you know he's been Manny Pacquiao's prime partner. Uh, he's been uh, with really really good fighters. He's not gonna react like any other opponent would for the reason that he's been in there with the best. Nothing's gonna surprise him that, you know, that you don't, uh, that he hasn't been through already. You are gonna see things that you haven't seen before, you know, um, but we, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. And there you see the corner of dangers, David Rodella out of Oxnard, California. The Knucklehead's gym, is that right? That's where he's at? <laughs> That's right. I gotta get it right, because you guys are the actor. You guys have been around almost as long as him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I think you're right. <laughs> David Rodella, a veteran at 17-12 with four KOs. He's been up against some of the best names in boxing. A step-up fight for Christian Chimpa Gonzalez. as Chimpa from Buena Park, California. He's coming into the ring, looking smooth in his blue and gold outfit. A lot of fans in attendance. You see Chimpa signs. You see the sponsors all over him. The younger brother of former world champion Cobrita Gonzalez. Chimpa Gonzalez, a fighter who's 12-0, 11-K-O. Was another one as a product of the Ring TV Live series and the LA Fight Club. As he's quickly made a name for himself in 2015. Looking to expand on that on in 2016. Chimpa Gonzalez undefeated 12 and 0. He's 20 years old, taking on David Rodella, who is 33 years old. A step up not only in competition, but in experience. Yeah, David Rodella, not just experienced uh, from who he's fought in the prize ring, Steve, but who he's gone up against in the gyms is sparring against yeah. the likes of Manny Pacquiao and Joel Casamayor. Doesn't get any better than that. And as we said earlier, the, he said this is basically his last fight, maybe even win, lose, or draw, but he goes in with a clear conscience because he had a seven-week camp. And our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, ready to introduce them. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our co-featured bout of the evening. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the Super Featherweight Division. Los tres wins otra vez. Once again, your three judges scoring. Carla Caiz, Dr. Lou Moret, and Zachary Young. When the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, cargado de ring, a referee, Wayne Hedgepan. Presentando primero la esquina azul, con los pantalones camuflaje y dorado, con un peso de 131 libras y medias. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing tonight camouflage trunks, trimmed in gold. He weighed in officially 131 and one half pounds. This veteran brings a record that stands at 17 victories, 12 defeats, four draws, and seven knockouts, con un record 17 victorias. 12 derrotas, 4 empates y 7 ganadas por nocaut de Oxnard, California, presentando Dangerous David Rodela. Y sobre de la esquina roja, con los pantalones azul, con dorado y un peso de 132 libras y medias. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wears blue trunks, trimmed in gold. He weighed in 132 and one half pounds. Con un record perfecto de 12 victorias, cero derrotas, 11 ganadas por local. His professional record stands perfect in 12 bouts, 12 victories, no defeats, 11 wins coming by way of knockout, presentando el hijo de Buena Park, 
California de Grande Pena, Cristian Chimbo González. Once again, your referee, Wayne Henchman. Okay, we good here. You receive your instructions in the dressing room. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, come back out. Good. There you see referee Wayne Hedgepeth with the instruction. Let's go to the tail of the tape, Doug. Hey, this is youth versus experience. Chimpa Gonzalez, 11 years younger. However, David Rodella, three inches taller with a decided reach advantage. Christian Chimpa Gonzalez, 20 years old. Trained by his father, Oscar Gonzalez. His cut man is his brother, Oscar Jr. Second assistant, Daniel Mota. David Rodella out of the blue corner with a camouflage trunks. Trained by Joseph Janik. Has sparred with Manny Pacquiao, Ricky Hatton, Antonio Margarita. And the first round is brought to you by Filmon.com. Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, Steve Kim, led by Will Wright. Great night of fights here at the one year anniversary of the LA Fight Club. The Belasco Theater in downtown Los Angeles. A normal packed crowd, sold out, standing room only. Also in the balcony, as Christian Gonzalez, a pro since 2013, started fighting in Mexico. That's where his first few fights were. They came to the United States, moved over. Graduate of Buena Park High School, and in his last fight, Christian Gonzalez knocked out Alejandro Ochoa in the second round, and he came strong, and he's starting strong yep. here against yeah. David Rodella. I think he momentarily buzzed Rodella with a left hook, and as you, as almost always, he set up that left hook to the jaw with with a left hook yeah. to the body. One thing that's very evident from the first time we saw him last year, 12 months ago, is. The technique is just so much better. Tighter. Yeah, much tighter punching frame, much more thrust on his punches, really doing a good job of planting his feet and punching with his legs with a lot of power and torque. Chimpa Gonzalez. The nickname Chimpa is a short for chimpanzee. When he was a toddler, he was dancing like that toy where the chimpanzee where has the symbols back right. and forth. He was dancing like that at a family party. And with every Mexican family, if you get a nickname from your age of two, it sticks to you. It just sticks, huh? Oh, yeah, until, yeah. until death. <laughs> right. Gonzalez from a fighting family. There you see his younger brother, a freshman at Buena Park High School. Oscar was uh, very good um, at a young age. He was a good amateur and, and just a good young gym fighter. Oh, oh big right hey. from Chipa oh. drops Rodella in the first round. An overhand right by Chimpa Gonzalez That's knocks down Rodella, over. and, and it is over. Wow. A first round KO for Christian Chimpa Gonzalez. Wow. Let's see what happened here. Left hook, left to the body. Left hook to the temple, another left hook, kind of back on the ear, oh. and then a big sweeping right cross, right to the side of oh. David Rodella's head. I don't. I mean, he just didn't feel it. Doug, he didn't. Ha he didn't have his legs to, to get up. The equilibrium totally scrambled. Doug Beto, this is not the same kid we saw 52 no. weeks ago. No. He has improved by leaps and bounds, and just the confidence, just yes. the air that he has. And it just goes to show you, you can't always judge a book by its cover, because going back 12 months ago, as we take a look at the replay here, look at the snap he gets on his punch. Yes. Look at the leverage he gets from his core and from his legs. Hey, he was naturally yeah. heavy-handed, but with the improved technique, yeah. he really is. He's developed into a KO puncher. He admitted last year that fighting for Golden Boy the first time, fighting in the States, fighting in this venue got to him. Well, he's certainly become very comfortable here. And wow, big oh, overhand He's a crowd right. favorite here, and that's a beautiful, and it's great. You know, usually we've seen him knock people's mouthpieces out or drop guys with his left. It's good to see him score a knockdown and knockout with his right hand. He is a two-fisted threat. That was a Tim Witherspoon-esque overhand right. And we got to keep this in perspective. Rodella was one in seven in his last eight, KO'd in, flat in the five of those fights. But again, it is a beauty contest. Sometimes it's not if you win, it's how you win. Well, yesterday at the weigh-in, you guys had a conversation. Yeah. I was eavesdropping. This dude sounded different 
confident in himself, and he was yep. telling you something about his preparation for this fight. He said, win, lose, or draw, this is probably my last fight, and I can go out with a good conscience, and I was sick of losing fights on 10 days' notice, and oftentimes you don't know who you're fighting, you don't know what weight you're fighting, you gotta cut weight in within 48 hours. Whatever or or David, fight naturally right. heavier. This was a good version of Rodella. We'll be catching up with Chimpa Gonzalez next. First round KO from the fighter from Buena Park on Ring TV Live. Back at the Belasco Theater, we just saw Christian Chimpa Gonzalez with a monster punch and overhand right to stop veteran David Rodella. Let's hear a ring announcer for Joe Martinez. The end comes officially at two minutes, 16 seconds. Round number one, your winner by KO victory and still undefeated, Christian Chimpa Gonzalez! Christian Chimpa Gonzalez gets his hand Raise the 20 year old from Buena Park now 13 and 0 with 12 KOs. Yep, Lou Cazada, Team Chimpa, Ring TV Live. Make sure you use that hashtag. Uh, he really put on uh, the show. He had a big crowd. He got the signs. There's a dude who trains with his dad. They don't have a home gym, they go to Azteca a lot. They've also gone to Sarabia's gym for the sparring. He's a, he's a gym nomad. I can see why, because some dudes just don't want to spar him after that heavy hand. He's getting his man muscles, I guess. Absolutely. And as Steve Kim said, um, he, he's gaining confidence with yeah. each fight, particularly when he exceeds expectations, as he did in his last fight against Alejandro uh, Ochoa, and as he did tonight against David Rodella. He said this year, alongside his manager, Ricky Motor, the goal was to just con have consistent activity, fight five, six, seven times, and by the end of the year, Maybe step up to 10 rounds. Now, again, he's only 20 years old, and we got to put it in perspective. Rodella may have not had a lot left, but sometimes you have to trust your eyes. My eyes tell me that this kid's gotten better. He looked good tonight. I want to see more of him. Yeah, he might not have a lot in that fight. Rodella might have, yeah. not have a lot left. But, Steve, you still got to throw that big yeah. monster hand. And Again, just fundamentally, he looks so much sounder. The balance was much better, the torque, and just ability to throw punches one after the other and have a good defensive guard I think Chimpa has a real upside here. And before we catch up with Christian Gonzalez, he's in the ring doing uh, interviews with Espanol. You know, he comes to us on English. We can do Espanol, we can do Korean, we can do, as Doug speaks, boxeo. Beth Duran, Doug Fisher, <laughs> Steve Kim. We can talk you Miami football, whatever you want, or vegan food. We he got can. it all. Oh. We, we got it all. Well, but. wait a minute. Now, here's, here's, speaking of Miami football, I was going to go to the spring game April 16th. My plans have changed. Why, Steve? Because April 15th, it's tax day. Someone's gonna pay. Because Soto Karras is fighting Yoshihori Kamagai. Man. Right now, here. This is the best fight I think we've done. Two of my favorite gatekeepers, two of my favorite sluggers. Oh. Now, Kamagai is a fighter the hardcore fans know. Casual fan might know him from YouTube, but for the <laughs> fan who's just checking in right now, Kamagai, let's just say, doesn't step away from anybody. Well, I mean, every time he fights, it really is on a kamikaze mission. I, <laughs> I still remember him coming in as this unknown Japanese guy fighting Robert Guerrero, and he gave the ghost a hell of a fight, Doug. That was memorable at the StubHub Center. He may have shortened the career yeah. of Robert Guerrero. To me, Guerrero had never, ne never regained his sharpness after those 12 rounds. And that'll be April 15th, it's been announced. Buy your tickets as soon as possible. Go to the Golden Boy website, call the office, get it now. It will sell out quick. That's not hyperbole. That is legit. Boxing fans know Soto Caras, Kamigai will be a barn burner. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Guaranteed, guaranteed. all-action fight. And like this go. guy is guaranteed all-action. Christian Chipa Gonzalez sitting down with us. A first-round knockout for the 20-year-old from Buena Park. Now, yesterday when I saw you at the weigh-ins, you were wondering what kind of socks to wear. <laughs> right? I told you it didn't matter because we weren't going to see him. What we saw was a big monster right hand. Was that the plan to come out and attack that fast? Uh, absolutely. We know uh, we knew that Rodella had a lot of experience. So I knew going in that uh, there was nothing that I was going to surprise him with. You know, he's seen it all. He's been in the game for a long time. So, uh, you know, we just did what we practiced on the, you know, in the gym. We knew that he was a little taller. So we had to work the overhand right, and uh, that was the punch that got him out of there. Is it important when you have a guy with that much experience not to let him get into a rhythm, not to let him warm up? Is it important to yes. hurt him and get that respect early? <laughs> that, that's what my dad said. Uh, jump on him early. Uh, it's a guy that, uh, with a lot of experience, he's going to bring all his tools to the table, 
and uh, don't let him, you know, start off, uh, put pressure on him. Show him that, uh, that you're 20 years old, that, uh, you know, you're hungry. There's only a couple punches we were able to get the highlights. Our crack staff able to get it because you didn't throw many punches in it. But take us through what you see right here. We timed it perfectly. Uh, we knew that he was, uh, you know, he, he caught me with a couple of hooks. And uh, we, we seen that he, he kind of opened up a little bit. And, uh, you know, that was a punch. Did he you know it, it was over? Uh, I thought he was going to get up, but I threw it very hard. So uh, I, got a, I had a feeling that he wasn't going to get up. And right. you really worked at uh, the yeah. right half of his body it, it with your left. Timing. And, and it, then, yeah, that, that the, the left side opened up. It was perfect timing. Now, we keep talking about today's the year anniversary of the yes. LA Fight Club. A year ago at this time, you were wet behind the ears. Your first <laughs> round here, you admitted you were nervous. You've grown up a lot in this past year. Yes, uh, you know, like I said, we, we look at film. Uh, we see all the errors that we make. You know, I'm, I'm still learning. Didn't do that much uh, amateur fights. I'm 20 years old and, uh, you know, I, I'm still learning, man. I got a lot to learn. And, uh, you know, little by little, you know, I'm getting uh, closer to my goal. You come from a fighting family. Your older brother, Cobrita, was a world champion. Your older brother, now an uh, officer. Yes. And he used to fight. And yes. your younger brother starting to get into the fight. <laughs> your That's dad's right. in there. It's a fighting family. O always. Christian Chimpa Gonzalez, there you go. There's the camera. Say what's <laughs> up to your people out there. Thank you. Thank you guys all for the support. And uh, stay tuned because 2016 should be uh, another great year. He's now 13 and 0 with 12 KOs. Christian Chipa Gonzalez, congratulations. <laughs> you, We're coming you. back with our main event, Michael the Artist Perez against El Rochas Martino Norio on Ring TV.